A very popular technique is flipping heavy mats and vegetation, or what they call punching, to get bass out of heavy cover. So I'm going to show you a tip that's going to help you catch more fish and land more bass when flipping heavy cover. Oftentimes you're using a really heavy weight, a big tungsten sinker and a hook and your favorite creature bait to punch it through the mat, to punch it, to punch it, to punch it through the mat. Well here's one thing that you can do. There's a special knot that you can tie that'll help you get extra penetration um, when setting the hook. So here's the rig with the special knot, your heavy tungsten sinker. When you apply pressure when setting the hook, it always makes the one the hook to push out to the side, which can help you get better hook up and catch the fish's mouth. The same rig with a polymer knot. As you see, when you apply the pressure, the hook doesn't even move. It stays straight up and down in the same line. It doesn't even move. It doesn't really help you or hinder you get a better hook set. So if the fish has got it sideways, you got an increased chance that you'll miss part of the fish's mouth when it opens up to go past the sinker. With a snail knot, when applied on a straight chain hook like this, when you set the hook and apply wherever the fish, it pushes the hook out and changes the angle of penetration of the fish's mouth. And that's what the key success of the hookup is. So when the fish grabs it, no matter how he grabs it, when you set the hook, piece of that fish's mouth with the hook. It ensures you a better hookup. Let's talk about what you need to set this rig up so you can get punching mats and catching more mats. First thing you'll need is a heavy braided line, uh, somewhere between 50, 65, maybe even 80 pound braid. You need a heavy true tungsten sinker, somewhere between three quarter ounce to an ounce and a half to help you punch the mat and get that weight through go anywhere from probably half, three quarter ounce, all the way up to an ounce and a half, depending on the cover you're flipping. And then you're going to want a straight shank, heavy wire hook that won't bend, and you need that straight shank so you can tie the snell knot. And this is part of the key, so you can tie that snell knot to the straight shank. You don't want an offset hook for this. And then your favorite flipping bait, whether it's a gambler cricket, sweet beaver, jackal cover crop, whatever your favorite thing is. So let's tie the knot. We're going to use one of these bobber stops because it shows up a little better. So you slip that through the loop. Pull the bobber stop over your line, get that up your line, grab your tungsten weight, thread that through, push that up your line, then you get your hook, you want to come in from the top side of the hook, pull a tag line out, line up the shank of the hook, form a big loop, give yourself some uh, line to work with, and then up by the shank of the hook, you can form a little loop, form a little loop, and you're going to pinch between your finger and your thumb. You're going to bring your tag line out along the shank of the hook. Then you're going to wrap several times, getting your tag line around the hook and, your, and the tag line with the loop, usually about five, six, seven times. You kind of bunch up your loops so they're up close to the eye, making sure you get over the barbs on your hook. And then you're going to pull from your line, main line end, and that's going to pull down your loops tight onto the shank of your hook. And then to tighten it, you pull your tag in, and that cinches everything together. So what you end up with is several tight wraps around the shank of your hook right below the eye, and then you can trim this off to the desired length with the sharp scissors. If you really want to be extra sure, you're not sure, you can put a little dot of super glue on there and make it hold. And that's how you tie the knot. That's how you tie the knot. Then put your favorite flipping bait on your craw or on your hook. Pull your bobber stop and your weight back down on your hook. And you can see you get that action that you want on that hook. 